Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense. In February of this year, 2020, Anne Filippo, Dominique Ropillon, and Juliette Caraguizolo got together and created a new fragrance. It is a flanker of a very well-known fragrance from Yves Saint Laurent, or heretofore known as YSL, YSL's L'Homme Le Parfum. So since I did the Le Parfum review for Le Mans yesterday, I thought that I would go ahead and do the Le Parfum review or first impression today. So when we return, I'll spray it on my skin, spray it on a tester strip, do a first impression. We'll talk about it that and more. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. While I typically try to do a review or a first impression based on the full Monty as it were the full unboxing and the full bottle or at least a you know 30 or 40 50 mil bottle I did get a hold of a couple of these guys because this Lome uh, Le Parfum is kind of hard to find right now it's not at any discounters you can get it at Nordstrom's if you want to pay $118 for it you can get it at other some other locations like eBay and such instead of just shelling out that much money at first uh, with these that I was given, I thought I would go ahead and give you a pretty good first impression. I thought I would go ahead and smell it today, give you my thoughts on the, the smell and what I think of the performance based on a 20-30 minute overview of it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll not do a presentation since I don't have the, the full bottle, but I will show you in the bottom left hand side of your screen. I think that's correct, bottom left hand side. You'll see the actual bottle as the graphic. Uh, I'll show the graphic there. So let's go ahead and pull out the sample, spray it on a tester strip. I'll give you my thoughts on that and then we'll try it out on skin just like we typically do. Show you that. I always find it interesting that samples look like they've been used. There's not like, it's like a bag of chips. You open it and there's like, there's a bag this big and there's like that much chips. Some settling may occur during shipping, apparently. Or if you drive a truck and you like fragrances, some usage may occur during shipping. I would have some trouble not wanting to use a fragrance that I was shipping if that, would, if that were the case. This one looks like it's got a little bit more. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and try this one out first. I'm gonna go ahead and just use it all today. Okay. You can definitely tell it's a Yves Saint Laurent. It actually smells more, at least in the open. It actually smells more closely associated with the Y line than the Loam line. I want to kind of reserve my thoughts for using this on skin though. I really do not care very much for a tester strip. I think they're more for perfumists that are creating fragrances so that they don't dab oils all over their skin and they just smell like a, a chemical mess and they go completely anosmic. I think that's what strips were initially created for, were literal perfumists. And for us, of course, it just kind of melted over into the consumer world where you've got all these, you know, Macy's and Nordstrom's and places like that that carry strips so that you could spray them on so you wouldn't walk away smelling like the fragrance, which wouldn't be a bad thing anyway. I think most people probably spray it on their clothes or their hand or something if they're thinking about purchasing a fragrance at any rate i think it's best just to get rid of the strip and go straight to the skin so wearing long sleeves today because it's a little bit cooler especially in the house we may my wife likes it pretty cool in the house and i do too so let's go ahead and i'm just going to go for it just so i don't have to respray now it is a la parfum so you would think that you don't have to spray that much as you can see i've used quite a bit out of the sample already I've got, again, I've got another one. Should I need it for this review or this first impressions? Very, very nice. Well, in typical YSL fashion, they have a really bright burst of juicy opening. Actually, before I say anything else, <laughs> let's go ahead. I'm kind of doing this in reverse order. Let's do a really quick note breakdown of L'Homme Le Parfum. L'Homme Le Parfum contains top notes of Prima Fiori lemon, cardamom, ozone, with heart notes of basil, geranium, and violet leaf. Resting on a base of vetiver, cedar wood, cashmere wood, and ambroxan. I really like the spicy lemony open that reminds me of the original loam. Okay, you don't know this because you're on that end of the camera watching me, but I've actually waited for about 20 minutes 
because I wanted to give you my thoughts on the mid as well as the open. Again, I like that very pleasant, spicy, lemony open. It's very much kind of a reinvigoration of the original loam DNA. But then in the mid, when the slightly sweet, slightly spicy, woody cardamom, uh, which is really pleasant by the way, mixes with the rich woods in there, it becomes then kind of its own unique thing and not necessarily just a reinvigoration or a reinvention or of, of the wheel, you know, of the loam wheel as it were. Initially it's easy to think of this as just another blue flanker with a little bit of that Y DNA in there. And I do get that Y DNA, but it's primarily in just the open. It, it dries off pretty sweet, that kind of like bubblegum or candy sweetness. It's super bright and super eye-opening. It's there in the beginning, in the open, but it drifts off and dries off relatively quickly, leaving way to its own kind of unique presence, but still maintaining that, you know, the essence and the feel of that original loam. Again, after pausing this video and letting it sit on my skin for a while, I don't think it's a generic copy of why, but I do think it's kind of more like a why, what could have been, sort of like the Marvel Remember the Marvel comic called What If? Like it would feature, say, like Spider-Man and then the Fantastic Four. And what if Spider-Man was with the Fantastic was one of the Fantastic Four or something like that? What if, you know, why was a Le Parfum? Something like that. It's again, it's more like a divergent what if. Like lots of products being released in the last year or so, I think this is more for less for the uh, fragrance connoisseur and more for the average layman who wants to smell like every sample counter in every department store everywhere ever all with the vibing energy and unprecedented options of a new frontier on the horizon which I actually really like personally I actually really like unfortunately I'm afraid a couple drawbacks are looming on that same horizon and that is performance and price I don't think that this is going to perform in the way that most people think that a parfum or le parfum should perform. Higher concentration of oils doesn't always equate to a banger or great longevity or great projection. In this case, I feel like it's not because here we are, what, some 30 odd minutes into this first impression and already it's, it's drawn back quite a bit. Now, I don't have to put my nose on my skin to smell it, so the projection is there. It's just not really what it should be for a fragrance of this ilk, a fragrance of this cost. It's already drawn back from its original energy into a very minimal nimbus across my skin. Ultimately, I think there's a place for this fragrance, but what I would do if I were you is I would wait until it hits discounters. It's currently not at discounters. Right now, you can only find it at specific websites like someone on eBay that's a, that's a reseller selling it, uh, or Macy's or Nordstrom's, but you're gonna be paying at least like 100 to 118 bucks for it and I do not think this as a blue fragrance is going to be worth that. If you own anything in the loam line or the Y line, just use those. You can layer them. A lot of people don't realize that they can actually do that. They think they're going to like ruin the fragrance or something. But if you take loam and spray it on your skin and five minutes later or 10 minutes later, you take Y Eau de Parfum Intense and you spray it on, those two will layer very, very well because they're similar. They're from the same house. Therefore, they are going to be similar in terms of DNA, although they do smell different. They're going to enrich one another. They're going to work really well and they're going to give you the kind of performance that you're looking for in this. But probably aren't going to get. I say probably because again this is a first impression and not a full-on review. I, I will eventually likely get this when it reaches discounters. I do like it. I like it very much just like I like most blue fragrances. There's a lot of good features to this but I don't think the performance is going to be there and I don't think it's worth the price that it's currently. If you absolutely must have it though there are a few things that you want to know. There are some sites that you want to avoid and one of them is going to be this one that I'm going to show you here. This site is notorious for not sending or not shipping out 95% of their fragrances. You can actually look it up and Google it. You'll see all kinds of people who have had issues with that website, who have either not gotten their product or gotten it way late, who've had to file claims, who've had to spend lots of time haggling with them back and forth. If you search for Lone Le Parfum, it's one of the first websites that comes up. So you think, and it looks legitimate, do not by any means order from that website. You'll be greatly disappointed. But if you have to have it now, make sure you order from a legitimate site like Macy's or Nordstrom's. Yes, you're going to pay top dollar for it, but 
you're the one that has to have it. So either that or wait for it to hit discounters. Well, that's my two cents worth for Yves Saint Laurent L'Homme Le Parfum. I do think it is a very, very nice, solid blue fragrance. I don't think it's worth the price that it's currently, and I don't think you'll get the performance out of it that really it should give you or your expectations are asking or requesting it to give you. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching my video today. As always, thank you so much for your support of my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you next time.